Alright guys, so here's my setup. This right here is my next cloud that is inside the Hyper-V managed by the Ubuntu server. While this is my data directory of Nextcloud in my Windows File Explorer. If you want to know how to do this, you can check out my previous videos. So right now I'm going to tell you how this works. So firstly, if you were to add anything like a new spreadsheet from Nextcloud, it will create in the Windows File Explorer. So now if I were to write anything here, Okay, it's done. Now I will come out files. So now if I were to create a file here, text document and like that, it will not cross synchronize. It only synchronize one side and not the other. So if in the case of you needing to roll back your uh, Hyper-V server, the database inside Nextcloud will be older but your data here will still remain as of today so the good thing is you still get your data but the bad thing is your configuration everything you do not see the recent changes or the new data you need to send your user their data for them to re-upload it so this is one thing to note so now let's go into how to back it up now there is two ways you can go into the Hyper-V and just back up the machine you can go into the Hyper-V and just back up the VM now backing up the VM is better to do it monthly or few months a time because the size is big what, what I'm going to do now is going inside the Hyper-V and backing up the next cloud software configuration itself all right so this is how we back up nextcloud snap you just need to use this code sudo nextcloud.export you just export and you create a backup for you on the required files and that's all you don't need to do anything else this only works on the snap do not use this on a normal installation because the normal installation you need to do more code than this so snap has made it so simple just run this code now for my case because my d my data is in my windows so i don't need full backup all i need is just the configuration the apps the database and that's all so how you're going to do this is you just space minus a for apps b for boy C for cat and D for donkey. Okay, I was just kidding. Okay, A for apps, B for database, C for config, and that's all. Now, if you want D, D is for data. So I just need the apps, data, and database and configuration. So that's all. And then it will ask your password, just run it, and that's it. Alright, so now it's done. Let's find where is the backup. Now the backup will be I'll show you in the file explorer inside Ubuntu server. Just go back out, go to the var, to inside var snap next cloud common backup and you will see this file now i have done twice that's why you can see two of this so you can see the time on this side so you know which one is the recent one we need to zip this back up but first i will do a cd to navigate directly inside so that i don't have to do it later on so let's cd var snap Nextcloud common backup common backup okay so enter and you're done you're inside here now we will start doing the zip sudo
back up 2022.tar now you can see this number at the top here successfully exported then here is a number of it so you just type in a number okay yeah that's done so you don't need to slash just go in okay so once completed you are done so if you go and see inside here you can see the backup 2022 is zipped so now we have to move it to our windows and we we'll move it to our mount in the windows so mnt and done so once it comes out this you're done so now it is inside here backup 2022 in my windows file explorer okay guys so let's start by restoring it firstly we need to simulate a error on nextcloud having settings problem and whatnot so now we need to roll back because our nextcloud can't be used so let's roll back okay so after restoring as you can see inside the next cloud there is an old my old stuff here but if you see my windows you don't see this okay so let's start restoring it first we need to cd into the mount this is my mount folder to my windows okay if I were to see MC, so this is my back, my zip file. What I need to do is move it. I'm using move because it's easier than copying. You need a lot of different code for copying. So I'm just going to move it. Now make sure you create a copy of your backup. Now I'm moving. move this and you have to move it into these two location either var snap next cloud common or var snap next cloud current so i'm going to move it into common so let's do var snap next cloud common so let's cd into that location where right and check it out so here is the backup right so now let's extract it sudo Okay, so now it's finished extracting. Let's see. MC, and you can see the file is right here. Give root access for snap to use. Okay, so you just need to type this code and give it the root. Once you've done it, you can start to import everything. So sudo next cloud dot import and put in a path okay so just put in the same number enter and we are done Right, so here is the same document, new spreadsheet, document, new spreadsheet. So if you open up the new spreadsheet, you can see the data is still inside. Everything works the same. So thank you all for watching. Famous Cyber Ramus signing out. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Below is my previous videos. To the center is my other videos. And to the side of it is my playlist of my previous and future videos that is to come. <laughs> so check that out. And thank you all for watching. Famous Cyber Ramus signing out. Woo!